Okay, so today we are on lesson six, term three. So welcome everybody. So just a regular introduction. So we are from Math Accelerator Centre and we're located at One Marine Parade Central and we specialize in mathematics and push your grades by one or two within a short period of time. All right, so today's objective is the same objective as usual, all right? Is to help you to make sure break down problem sums, especially those a lot of words, right? Break it down into bite sizes so that you'll be able to understand the problem sums clearly and do it confidently, okay? Okay, so um, once I'm done with the, uh, the questions, right? Do not leave, okay? Because um, last week I remembered um, to ask you to do the bonus quiz, right? So I will reveal the results at the end of the lesson. So apparently there are 26 of you who did very well, okay? The 26 of you did very well. So from the 26 of you who did very well, right? We will pick out eight lucky winners out of the 26 and we will give you all the vouchers, okay? So just stay till the end of the lesson, then I will update you guys, all right? Okay, so now on to the important stuff. Today's lesson outline. The first one we'll be doing is total unchanged. The second one we're doing constant difference. And lastly, we will close it off with higher order thinking questions. All right. So before I begin, right? So this is the last lesson for term three, okay? And um, just the regular ground rules, audio will be muted all the time. So if you have any questions, just type in the chat, okay? And most importantly, listen attentively and have fun. Oh yeah, and don't spam the chat. Okay, so let's begin. So do you all have the worksheets in front of you? If you do not have, don't worry, okay? Don't go and print it now. Okay. All right. Okay. Now for strategy one, strategy one is total unchanged. So for total unchanged, right, we're going to fill up this BCA table called before, change, and after. So since this is a total unchanged, right, so before and after, the total will remain the same. So I explained to you the logic behind why before and after the total remain the same, okay? So, yeah, hold on, okay. All right, so let's begin the first one. The ratio of the number of red marbles to the number of blue marbles in a box was one is to three at first. And after 12 red marbles, were added and 12 blue marbles were removed from the box. The ratio became three is to one. How many marbles were there in the box at first? Okay, so think about this, okay. Let's say if I have $100, for example. Okay, let's say if, if I have $100. So if someone gives me $10, I will have hundred and ten dollars and if I go and spend that very same ten dollars I'll be back to hundred dollars so before and after as long as if the gain and the loss is the same means the gain of ten dollars and the loss of ten dollars is the same the total at the beginning and the total at the end will remain the same, okay? So this question, so can I write down red is to blue? So at first is one is to three, right? All right, so add one more over here. This is what we call the total. So the total is one plus three, which is four units in total, all right? So this is called the before, what happened before. Okay, now let's talk about the change. Okay, 
Okay, so change, right? What happened is 12 red marble to edit. Okay, so plus 12 marbles. Then for the blue, minus off the 12 marbles. So after that, what happens? Now the red became three, but the blue became one now. Okay, so the total in this case, three plus one equals to four. Okay, so this checks out nicely because at first, four, and at the end, also four. Why this checks out? Because if the gain and the loss is the same, the total at the start and the total at the end will be the same. So now, can you all tell me in the chat, right? How many units is 12? Okay, most of you got it correct. The answer is simply two. Because once the total is the same, right? Then all you have to worry is, okay, see from here, one plus two units is three units, right? And from here, three minus two will be one unit. So in this case, two units is the 12. Okay, write that down. Two units equals to 12. All right, so one unit equals to 12 divided by two, they'll give you six. So how many blue marbles were there in the box at first? Can you all type the answer in the chat? Yep, correct. So, blue marbles at first, before, three units, right? So, write down three units. So, three times six equals to 18. Right, great. So now let's move on to the next question. Okay, the ratio of number of boys to girls on a bus is one is to three. After 15 boys boarded and 15 girls alighted the bus, the ratio of the boys to girls on the school bus became two is to three. So find the number of boys on the school bus at first. Okay. Okay, so write down boys is to girls. So before is one, is to three. So from this question, right, 15 boys boarded, but 15 girls alighted. So when it comes to total population, right, 15 entered in, but the same amount left. So when the gain and the loss is the same, right, your total will remain unchanged. So make sure you write the total units here as four. Okay, now write down change. So after 15 boys boarded, so boarded means they took the bus. And 15 girls alighted, so they left the bus. This is the change. So what happens after? So after it became two is two, three. Okay, so write down the total here. Five. So from this, right, the total has to be the same. So since this is four units and this is five units, what should we do over here? Correct, find the common multiple. 
So what's the common multiple of four and five? Yep, most of you got it. Okay, great. So common multiple of four and five is 20. So this one multiplied by four, this one multiplied by five. So when you do that, right, here also must multiply by four and four, okay? So this becomes eight, this becomes 12. Here it becomes five, and here it becomes 15. Now if you look, right, from five units to eight units, there was a gain in three units. And from 15 units to 12 units, there was a loss in three units. So the 15, um, the value of 15, right, equals to how many units in this case? Can you type in the chat? All done. So it's three units equals to 15. So one unit is 15 divided by three equals to five. So the question is asking, find the number of boys on the school bus at first. So before I understand it's one to three, but you shouldn't use one to three. You should use the new calibrated ratio of five is to 15. So at first there were five units of boys, right? So five units equals to five times five which equals to 25. Okay, don't use eight units, okay? Eight units is after. You must check that before. All right, now let's move on to the next question. The ratio of the amount of money Alice had to the amount of money Bobby had was nine is to 16. After Alice gave $8 to Bobby, the ratio of the amount of money she had to the amount of money Bobby had was 1 is to 4. How much money did Alice have at first? Okay, from this sentence here, what can you tell me? Anyone? Okay, let's see. Yep. Okay, one of you got it. So in case you forget, right, let me just explain. So if person A got $10, person B got $5, okay, and person A decides to give person B $2, okay, like this, $2, this way. So which means person A would have $8 left and person B would now have $7 left. So if you realize, right, the total will still be the same because money is circulated between them and no one else. So the total will always be the same. So from this sentence alone, by now, you should be able to tell me that the total is the same. So for those of you who type total means the same, you're on the right track already, okay? <clears throat> okay. Before that, someone asked me to answer for question two. Question two is 25, okay? All right. All right, so for those of you, sorry, let me repeat myself. For those of you who said total is the same, right? Well done, okay? You're on the right track. All right, so now, write down Alice is to Bobby. This is nine is to 16. So quickly write down here, this is before, okay? 
Now the change. So Alice gave eight dollars to Bobby. So minus eight dollars here, plus eight dollars. Then the after it became one is to four. So since we established that the total is the same, right? So can we write down what's the total over here? Nine plus sixteen will get you twenty-five. Over here, 1 plus 4 will get you 5. So since 25 and 5 is not the same, let's go and find the common multiple of 5 and 25. What is the common multiple of 5 and 25? Can you all type in the chat? Okay, yeah. You're all quite fast. Okay, the answer is 25. All right, so since the answer is 25, the before is already at 25. So just leave that alone. Here, you just multiply it by 5. So multiply it by 5, multiply it by 5. So your new ratio here, V5, is to 20, 25. Now it makes sense. The total is still 25. Now there's a change in the ratio. All right, so in this case, can you tell me how many units is $8 then? Mm. Very good, because it checks out, right? Here, minus 4 units. But here, there's an increase in the same 4 units. So therefore, 4 units equals to $8. So what's the question asking? How much did Alice have at first, right? So go and find for 1 unit. $8 divided by 4, and they'll get you $2. So at least had 9 units at first, right? So it's $2 times 9, that will get you Okay, now let's go to the next question. Okay, so this question is a classic question that will, it tends to appear in your exam all the time, okay? Okay, Mrs. Tang is 45 years old and his daughter is 9 years old. In how many years time will the ratio of Mr. Tang's age to his daughter's age be 4 is to 1? All right. Now, this question here, right? Think of it logically. So let's say the year is 20, 21. So person A is 30 years old. Person B is 10 years old. All right. So in 2022, person A will be 31, person B will be 11, right? And 20, 23. Person A will be 32, and person B will be 12. So since the age keeps increasing for both of them by one, right? The difference in their age, okay, will always remain the same. See, 30 minus 10 will get you 20. 31 minus 11 will still be 20. And 32 minus 12 will also be 20. So no matter what, when it comes to age, right? Especially age of two people, their difference across time will remain the same, okay? Always remember that. All right. So if you can understand this concept, then this should be easy. All right. So at the end, right? Not at the end, sorry. They're asking when it will be. In how many years' time? Okay. So... <clears throat> OK, 
case of Mr. Tang and his daughter. So we just established that the difference in age between two people across time will always be the same, right? So what can you tell me about the three units here? What does this three units here equals to? In terms of model, this is the difference, right? And since difference will never change, so what is the value there? All right. <clears throat> Correct. So here will still be 45 minus 9. And that will get you 36. So the difference won't change. It will always be the same. So this is 36. So in this case, right, 3 units equals to 36. Therefore, 1 unit equals to 36 divided by 3. That is 12. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. So what's the question asking? In how many years time? So currently the daughter is 9 years old, right? So in how many years time her age will be? Her father's age will be 4 times that of hers. Okay, you just take 12 minus the current age. So answer is three years time. So in three years time, the dad will be 48 and the daughter will be 12. Okay. Four times 12 will be 48. So therefore it's one is to four, right? Okay. Okay, for those of you who keep asking for the questions early on, right? Don't worry, okay? This is being recorded, so you can go and view the recorded um, lesson on our website, all right? Don't worry, just focus on the current question that you are in. Okay, now let's move on to question number two. Okay, so remember, the age difference will always remain the same across time, okay? So John is 24 years old and his cousin Max is six years old. The difference will never change. In how many years time will the ratio of John's age to Max's age be three is to one? So quickly draw a little model here. Okay, so John, two units. <clears throat> N max one unit. Okay, so I'm more interested in the difference. So the difference here is two units, right? So I'm gonna ask the class now, what does this two units equal to? Can y'all do and type in the chat? What does the two units equal to? Yes, correct. It's 24 minus 6 equals to 18. So one unit is... 18 divided by 2 equals to 9. Okay, so one of you asked me, like, why in question 1 is 12 minus 9 equals to 3, right? I'll explain that idea using question 2, okay? So you must always read the question carefully. They're asking in how many years' time. It means from now till 9 years old, how many years' time will it take? That's all. So, right. You can either take 9 times 3, 27. 27 minus 4 will give you 3. 
or you can simply take the cousin's age 9 minus 6, 3 years time. So currently, John is 24 years old and Max, Max is 6 years old, right? So in 3 years time, Max will become 9, John will become 27, and that is when the ratio will become 3 is to 1, okay? I hope you understand that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now let's move on to question three. Okay, so this one. Lydia bought five whole one six kg of salmon and two and a half kg of tuna. She used the same amount of salmon and same amount of tuna to cook dinner, okay? So the ratio of the amount of salmon left to the amount of tuna left is 3 is to 1. How much of each type of fish was used to cook dinner? Okay, now again, if person A got $10, person B got $7, okay? Their difference will be three dollars okay quite obvious now if person a and person b spend the same amount of money right let's say two dollars so person a will be left with eight dollars and person b will be left with five dollars notice that <clears throat> when they both spend the same amount of money right the difference will still be the same okay so i will explain to you using a model this same idea okay so now let's draw the model for salmon so salmon is 5416 and tuna is two hole and a half okay so write down salmon and tuna so what happens is Lydia used the same amount of salmon and tuna right so how do I explain this using a model all right it's very simple same amount of salmon and same amount of tuna. This the one right here. Okay. So just shade it and just shade it. So this is three units and this is one unit according to the question. So notice, right, before and after, the difference here still stayed the same, didn't it? Right? So now, can you find out what is the difference here? Okay, so all you got to do is just take 5 whole, 1 over 6 minus 2.5 kg. Okay, wait, I want to put the units, so hold on. Okay, there is a chance, right, that this question might appear on a paper where you cannot use a calculator because your teacher might want to test how you subtract fractions. Okay, so in this case, it's good to practice it now. So this is 5 whole, <clears throat> 1 over 6 minus 2 whole, 3 over 6. All right. So since 5 minus 2 is 3, but 1 over 6 cannot minus 3 over 6, you'll get a negative, right? So what you can do is you borrow 1 from 5. So you write down 4, 
7 over 6 minus 2 whole 3 over 6. So this will get you 2 whole 4 over 6, which is 2 whole 2 third kg. So this right here is 2 whole 2 third kg. <clears throat> Right, so class, how many units is two whole two third kg? Correct, two units. So two units is two whole two third kg. So go and find out for one unit first. <clears throat> we take two whole, two third, divided by two. Okay, so how to do this, okay? If this appears in a paper where you can use a calculator, fantastic, you can use. But if you cannot use, then how? So turn this into improper fractions first. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So 8 over 3 divided by 2. So this is 8 over 3 times half. So this becomes 8 over 6, which is 4 over 3 is one whole, one over three kg. So which means, right, this one right here is one whole, one over three kg. Okay, I give you about a minute to copy this down. You're still not done with the question yet. Done copying really. Okay. For those of you who are done copying, right, you can proceed to solve the question and type the answer in the chat. Okay, so we're not done with the question yet. The question is asking how much of each type of fish was used to cook dinner. And the amount of each type of fish salmon and tuna was used to cook for dinner, right? It's the same, right? According to the model. So by finding this, I'll essentially find the answer, correct? So all you have to do is just take the amount of the tuna minus what is left. You'll find out what is used. Okay, it's that simple. I repeat again. The amount of tuna, right? Minus the amount that is left, you'll be able to find out the amount that was used. So two and a half minus one whole, one third. This is equals two. 
So this is two whole, three over six minus one whole, two over six. This will equal to one whole, one over six kg. This is the final answer. Yes, correct. It's one whole, one over six. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Okay, higher order. So you got two higher order questions here, okay? All right. So for some of you who had done the quiz, right? You may find this question quite familiar, okay? The ratio of Alicia's cookies to Sarah's cookies was five is to seven. Jean had one fifth of what the three girls had all together, okay? To solve this question here, right? This sentence is the most important sentence. What do you gather from this sentence? Can you type in the chat? What do you all gather from this sentence? Correct. The total is five units. That's what I want to hear, right? The total is five units where Jean is one unit. So if the total is five units and Jean is one unit, right? What can you tell me about Alicia and Sarah? How many units are they? Mm. Good. They are four units. Well done. Okay. <clears throat> so Alicia and Sarah is total four units, right? But over here, it says total 12 units. Okay. So what I'm going to write down is Jean is to A plus S. So it's one is to four. And the same A plus S, right? In this case, it's 12. So what is Jean's ratio here then? So here, if you multiply by three, here would multiply by three. So write down three is to 12. So now we establish this, right? From the 12, A is 5 and S is 7, right? As in Sarah. So therefore, you can now write your new ratio as J is to A is to S. As 3 is to 5 is to 7. Okay, so now read the question. If Alicia had 45 cookies, which means 5 units is 45. Okay, so now read the question carefully. How many more cookies does Jean 
need to bake to have the same number of cookies as the sum of Alicia and Sarah, which means Jean now sits at three units, right? Jean now sits at three units. They're asking how many more units is required to reach up to 12 units. Okay, so first you take 12 units minus three units. This is nine units. So by finding out the nine units, you find out the answer. So five units is 45. Go and find for one unit. 45 divided by five goes to nine. So how many more units does Alicia need to reach 12, right? So it's nine units, which is nine times nine. And that equals to 81. It take about a minute to copy this before I move on to the next question. Okay, next question, let's go. Okay. So Abby, Betty and Kathy, so let's call them A, B, C, okay? So A made one quarter of the total number of paper cranes. And B and C made the remaining number of paper cranes in the ratio of seven is to five. Okay, so which means how many units is Abby in this scenario here? Okay, don't worry about the rest of the one. How many units is this? Is, yep, correct. A is one unit and the total is four units, which means B plus C actually goes to four minus one, which is three units. All right, so write down A is to B plus C goes to one is to three. But in this sentence here, B plus C is actually seven plus five, which is 12, right? So which means this, when you multiply by four, you also must multiply by four. So it's four is to 12. <laughs> So now you can write the new ratio of A is to B is to C, which is four is to seven is to five. Okay, so once you establish this, right, the rest of the question becomes super easy, right? So what, what's the next information telling you? Abby made 48 fewer books than Kathy. So it's regarding Abby and Kathy. So Kathy is five units. Abby is four units. So the difference is one unit. Therefore, that one unit is the difference, which is 48. So once you find out one unit, how many bookmarks did Abby and Kathy make all together? Total is four plus five, which is nine units. So nine units is simply 48 times nine. Okay, let's see what's the answer you all got. Okay, someone pointed out an error in this question, which I agree with, okay? 
So paper cranes, right? Then over here, bookmarks. So change it to paper cranes, okay? So 48 times 9, you should get 432. All right. Okay, so for those of you who did the quiz last week, right, you know who you are. So please don't leave yet, okay? I'll end this in a short while, all right? Okay, so I'd like to have a show of hands. <clears throat> Which one do you all find it to be the most challenging one? Is it one, two, or three? Okay, at least, at least don't spam. Mm, so it's the general consensus is that number two and three is a challenging one, right? Okay, so make sure um, when you're done, right, cover the solution that I gave it to you and practice it, okay? All right, so again, Time is limited, all right? So make sure you all are practicing, okay? So for August, um, some of you just mentioned that your prelims are over for primary five, right? So, okay, that's good. I hope you all did well. And for prelims, for primary six, I think should be coming soon as well. In October, it's PSLE and primary five is a year in exam, all right? So it's good to start early, all right? One of you said today, all right? I hope you did well, man. Okay, so in 10 days time, right, or 10, 11 days time, we'll be conducting a September boot camp, especially for primary six students. So we focus heavily on problem sum strategies, all right? Okay, so for those of you who are interested, here's the link. Okay, take note, then click on the September intensive revision boot camp. Key in your name and particulars right below, and we will attend to you within one working day, okay? Okay, so every Wednesday, 8 p.m., Tia, Ms. Tia will be conducting the primary three and four mini boot camp, uh, not boot camp, mini course. And for a September holiday program, which I just mentioned, right, will be conducted by our very own chief trainer, Mr. Chris Siu, okay? He's an ex MOE HOD, right? Okay, so uh, we'd like to invite you to a complimentary trial lesson as per usual, okay? This to assess your readiness and to boost your grades within 90 days using the score system. It will craft a plan for you to work forward. So for the trial lesson, right? Just go to the, the, the part way. Okay, visit the website and you will be able to navigate. Okay, so this is very important, right? Uh, this is called the cost feedback. So um, please let us know if you want us to conduct this term for as well. It'll be very important, okay? So this is based on demand. So if you demand it, that's when we will supply it, okay? If there's less demand, we wouldn't. So um, two, uh, fill up the feedback form. Here is the website link, it's very important. So if you want it, just key in your name in particular and just let us know that you want the free trial lessons, okay? Because if there's no demand, we won't do it. If there's demand, we'll do it, all right? Okay, so sorry to keep you all waiting, all right? So now here comes the lucky draw, all right? All right, so for lucky draw, um, okay, hold on, just give me a second. Okay, so these are the list of winners over here, okay? These are your names right here. Look at your names.
Alexandria, Jaden, quite a number of you, right? Okay, I'll just scroll down, scroll again just to show you all, right? Okay, so from the 26 students who did this quiz well, right? We're going to pick out eight winners, okay? So the first one, let's see. Okay, so we got Vivian. All right, next one, Celine. All right. All right, third one is Alicia. Fourth one is Jaden. Fifth one is Margaret. Okay, sixth one is Alicia. Sorry, Alisa, right? So, yeah, two more left. Let's see who are they. Okay, so one is Juanita. Let's see who's the last one, lucky one. I think that's Celeste, right? Krishna, okay. All right, so these are the eight winners, all right? So um, contact our center and claim your um, $50 worth of gift, all right? So I repeat the names there, Vivian, Celine, Alitia, Jaden, Margaret, Elisa, Juanita, and Krishna, all right? Okay, so you know who you are, contact the center and then claim your prize, okay? Okay, if, yeah, if there's any, nothing much, you guys can leave, all right? Thank you all for participating in Term 3. I hope you guys do well, and I hope to see you all in Term 4 if there is demand, all right? Thank you and take care. Good night. Bye-bye.